Hi everybody, this is Jim from County Corvette. I have a 1961 convertible. We just took this car in on trade and you know, I get, I get stuff like this once in a while and it's a difficult situation. Uh, we're a very busy shop here with, uh, with what we do. We build a lot of rest of mods, we do a lot of restoration work and, and just a ton of service work. And very often, you know, I shy away from cars that, you know, need some work simply because we just don't have the time to do it. Uh, and this is a really good example because this is a car that I can do some stuff to. I'm going to go through what this car needs um, based on our evaluation because obviously I do an evaluation before we take a car in. And in my opinion, it's a real 270 horse based on the tachometer and everything else that I'm seeing around here. However, it is a replacement engine as there's no VIN number on it. Um, I believe it's got a Muncie transmission. It runs and shifts great, runs great. Goes down the road nice and straight. It's got bias by tires on it, but unlike many, this one stops and, and steers really well. And it's just a really nice overall driver. It's got a cracked windshield, so it needs a piece of glass. I, I usually have some windshields that we've taken out of Restomod donors because we put all new glass in them. Um, but right now, I just don't have the ability to, to cycle this through our, our shop. So I'm going to be selling this car as it sits, but I want, I want any prospective buyers to know, you know what you're dealing with. Now, it is priced for what it is. I, I doubt you'll be able to find anything out there that runs and drives, let alone runs and drives well, in that, in that range. There's just not much out there. So let's start with, the, uh, with, with, with what's wrong with it. Again, the windshield's uh, broken. The passenger window does not go down. You know, that's obviously stuff that we can fix, but you know, right now it's, it's inoperable. Uh, it's missing some trim. It's missing a, a lock on that side. The tack doesn't work. There's no cable, uh, but it is a tack drive distributor. Uh, it is a 6,500 RPM uh, red line in this car as well. The radio and bezel and clock are missing. So those, those are all items. And if you, if you were a car, that you just want as a cruiser and that that doesn't matter you know you can put a replacement radio in it uh, it doesn't warrant original wonder bar radio okay so this is a nice fawn beige interior i don't know what happened with the carpets here but there's no front floor uh, mat in there but the carpets are decent uh generally overall uh, it's not bad it's not bad it's, it's far from perfect uh, the dash pad's not perfect but it's presentable and uh, a lot of it appears to be original so under the hood you know it's 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 not bad um, it, it's the right configuration it's got a new aluminum radiator in it correct uh, for this car they're not they're not cheap that was done properly it had some fiberglass work done on the firewall I believe there's no heater uh, core in it at this point or it's it's, it's bad heater core in it with the hoses bypassed um, you know, replacement over the valve cover wires, that type of thing. Um, but it, it does look correct overall. And it, it, the car starts, runs and drives really nicely. So my, my feeling on this car was I'm going to put it out there, you know, for the potential buyer of, of a guy, you know, like myself, who's handy who can do some things that may not have seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 to spend, but could chip away at this. The paint is nice enough. It's got some chips and scratches in here and there, but it's nice enough that it's presentable that it's a great cruiser. There's no convertible top in it. Um, there's, there was no frame. So that's something that uh, would need to be addressed if, if you wanted to address it. But it's priced uh, you know, in a great range for that guy looking for a car that he can tinker with. Now, if you have to send it to us, you know, there's going to be an expense involved with, with doing all these things. But if you're handy, you can have a nice car and, and really have a very presentable driver. So that's, uh, you know, that's what, that's what this car is. I generally don't, you know, put cars like this out there, but you, you should know that, you know, we, if we do have a car like this, we're going to tell you what, what, what's, what's all wrong with it. And, you know, other than cosmetics, it's a great car. So. We're gonna go take it for a ride and let you feel how it runs. It, I did drive it earlier and it actually runs really well. I was having some fun with it and uh, we'll take it out again here. So overall, it's, uh, it's just a, a driver level solid axle in a price range that you just can't beat in, in a nice, you know, really historic color combination. And uh, 
there you go. So let's take this thing for a ride. Okay, so all the gauges, with the exception of the tack, are working here. And I'll tell you, the car runs quite, quite nicely. It, it is the dual uh, WCFB carburetors on it with the original intake and air cleaner. Clutch feels nice in it. You know, like I say, overall, it's just a, it's just a good, actually a really nice driving uh, solid axle. I will tell you that with, with um, these big white wall bias plies, they're usually drive like, uh, you know, like a truck. They wander a lot and um, actually not like a modern truck, like an old truck. But this one, this one's not bad. It's actually good. I know the the uh, suspension was was uh, you know addressed in at some point the king pins and all, so we're we're in pretty good shape here. I'm going to do a little bit of a country back road drive here. The temperature gauge is working properly. It's got good oil pressure. I'm not sure the odometer is registering here as. Uh, it's showing 47,723 miles. It doesn't appear to me that this gas, this gauge cluster has ever been apart. A lot of guys change these transmissions to, to, the, to the Muncie's, you know, just for that reason. It's a lot better of a transmission. You know, there's a there's a list of stuff that's you know needs correction on this car, but it's really not an overwhelming list. It's knickknack stuff. And if if you're a handy um, you know, no, I'm not even going to say mechanic. It would be helpful if you were a mechanic, but if if you're handy, uh, you buy an assembly manual and just chip away at this thing. You got yourself a heck of a nice driver. Okay, the odometer does not work in this either. We're not getting any register of uh, tents in here. Transmission does feel nice though. I actually feel very confident and comfortable driving this car. It was inspected in 2020 uh, in Connecticut, so it passed the safety inspection. And by all standards, it, it feels safe. Sa safer than a lot of restored cars I've driven, by the way. All right. You know, that's not too shabby. I'll take it. The, uh, the carburetors on this work properly. I can feel the uh, secondaries kicking in in, in both carburetors. Um, the only thing I can say is the spring on the carburetors feels a little tight. So it's hard to feather into the throttle. That's, that should be changed to a lighter spring. That's the only thing I don't like about driving it. it just simply because it, it's going to make it jerky because it's hard to smoothly transition the throttle there from nothing to just a partial throttle. So lighter spring is in order there. What happens is on, on these uh, dual quad cars, a lot of times uh, because of all the linkage, if it's misadjusted or worn in, in, uh, in some ways, they can stick, and if that happens to you once, it'll scare the, the hell out of you, and you'll end up with a bigger spring, which is what I suspect happened here. But the way these carburetors work, I, I, I just think it's, uh, uh, you know, too heavy of a spring, per se. Not, not an issue with the linkage, because it wouldn't, these uh, secondaries wouldn't respond that way. And, you know, there's, there's, uh, 
you know, overall the, the carburetors uh, aren't leaking. Um, maybe a little bit of seepage and such over the years, but generally they, they, uh, they look pretty good. So, you know, as far as the mechanicals of this car, it is a car you can just jump in and drive. You're gonna to wanna to fix the window and maybe a couple small things. But a fun little cruiser and, you know, bang for the buck. Uh, I, I don't know how you go wrong with, uh, with that. So it's priced very fair and according to what it is. So if you're in the market for something that needs a, a little bit of fix up, this is a great, great uh, candidate for you. Uh, give us a call and we'll be, uh, we'll be happy to go over everything with you and uh, get something done. Hey, thanks for watching.